Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry, this is no outro in the last video. I was just doing a test on the phone to see if it would, other phones, see if it would run HD, and it does, but the problem is it will stay in vertical, which really sucks. I didn't mean the phone in vertical, guys. The phone was literally stuck in vertical because it was so friggin' smashed up. That's kind of the root. You, know, you film it in 1080p, but it's all smashed up. I can't really use it unless you guys want to watch vertical videos all the time. Anyway, we're going to make some co coffee. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cup of coffee. In case, because some people don't know how, I know some people who actually friggin' like make it right super watered down and shit. And here are some I mean, from Folgers Coffee. Folgers, please sponsor me. <laughs> I'd like to get a sponsor, it would be very helpful. Make sure the coffee machine is really clean. That's something that, you know, at friggin' coffee shops and shit, they don't wash those machines there. They let them get extremely dirty. I mean, a lot of people only know how much bacteria they're drinking. But of course, you know, they're still gonna buy it because it's convenient. pretty freaky when you realize how little they, they like clean their machine once a day and make like thousands of pots. Because it makes sense because like there isn't enough time to clean it. You get like hundreds of people and getting a cup of coffee. <laughs> One one spoon of coffee, a tablespoon or teaspoon for each cup, and you want it a little bit stronger, you add an extra teaspoon. For some reason, a lot of people don't get that friggin' gist of it, and they end up putting four four spoons for like eight cups or something. Mm -hmm. I like it. Is an ice cream joint. 
joints, and they sell three different sizes of ice cream. Like it, love it, and gotta have it. Obviously, you have to fuck the idiot to not make that calculation, that conversion, instantly in your head. They're like they're synonymous. When you go to Starbucks, in the back of your head, you're like, well, fuck, what are those sizes again? Sizes? You mean the things that you should be and make wherever you go? Small you go like three teaspoons of sugar or four. Uh, are being extra three sizes, like mustard, it. mustard, and mulatto. I think what's sort of frustrating about it is this knowledge. It's not knowledge. Knowledge. Oh, knowledge. I don't want you to know that a large corresponds to things. I don't exactly have the same level of aggravation when I go to a taco truck and I ask for uh, a large size of ice cream. Now I'm saying, uh, they don't mean three Charmander's? No, I don't mean three Charmander's, you fucking Charmander. Starbucks has tall, venti, grande, vents, trend. A lot of people get hung up on why. Well, I wonder why the, 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 the small, tall, the tall. We don't care. It doesn't matter why it's small, tall, the tall. That's an irrelevant question because it's insane. You know, we don't look at the people wearing the hot dog on a stick uniform and say, huh, I wonder why they're wearing that. No, we say, that's fucking disgusting. I would hate to be that poor soul wearing that horrendous uniform. Come on, dude. Is it that difficult to say tall when you mean small, or Ooh. grande when you mean large? I'm going to and wait for it to brew. The problem is, based on some flawed psychological premise, that you're somehow increasing profits by renaming your stupid things to something different. Sizes are as ubiquitous as the ingredients in the food. What's on the menu? Mm. The bathroom. Oh, yeah. Here at KFC, we call it uh, the chicken bucket. That's the name of the bathroom. If you want to come uh. take a shit in the bathroom, you got to know that. You should really call it the chicken bucket. It's just some unneeded social Yeah. No, you don't like that. That's kind of fringe. At least you don't feel completely effeminate when you're ordering a venti cappuccino. That's the shitty thing. Now they're right. forming for cords in 1080p, but it's so smashed up it can't. I can't so friggin' uh, switch it to horizontal, it'll only film in vertical. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I know what you have to say. I know what you, you might say to me. <laughs> so, sir, what would you like to order? Would you like to order the tiny cock, the medium-sized dick, or the large penis? <laughs> yes, can I say uh, the large penis of strawberries, please? <laughs> With the childish nature of it all, it's like, okay, yeah. Ice cream. But oh my god. It really isn't how childish it is. It's yeah. that you're forcing me to be grammatically challenged. Can I have a like it cookie dough ice cream? That is so stupid. Well, maybe they want to be a bit different, not you small, medium, and large. Oh my god. No, this isn't where you'd be different. You'd no. Be different in every other category. Yeah. The core of the restaurant, the food you serve. It's kind of weird. Be different in ways that people can actually appreciate and not feel uncomfortable with. There's a lot of people out there with varying degrees of social anxiety that don't want to even talk to people, period. So when you add some unnecessary thing where it's like, oh, you yeah. gotta say it right, one of these things, it's like, fucking why? Bitch, I'm an adult. I was trying to figure out why I do this and, and why I feel the pressure to do it. Over the years, you go to a lot of different eating establishments, a lot of different cuisines that you're eating use different languages. If you're ordering a carne style burrito, there's only one real way of saying that. You're not going to say, excuse me, sir, I'd like the uh, the meat cylinder, please. So already, you want to make your order as clear to the person who's receiving it as possible. So you have no screw-ups, right? But then I have another reason why I feel some sort of pressure and anxiety around it. Guy and will go to, like, a dueling sandwich shops in Philadelphia. It's like Geno's and Pat's. Don't mess up. Oh my god, yeah. I'm gonna kick you out of the line. Holy shit, can I just fucking order some food? What are you getting on about? Yeah. Come up and they say, give me one wit, W I T. That means one wit. Wit is onions. What do you mean? 
Oh my god. Bargain with and bargain with us. Keep one look at the sign outside. Hey, I got my money in hand. This is the stoop. There's no line. Chill out. But if you were a Philly, you gotta have a Philly cheesesteak. But you gotta order it with cheese whiz. But don't you dare call it cheese whiz. You call it <clears throat> whiz wit, okay? A whiz wit. No. You think we know how to speak the English language? What we're talking about? <laughs> it's, it's very reminiscent of the soup Nazi sketch from Seinfeld. Maybe it's turkey chili. <laughs> ah, the soup Nazi sketch from. You want bread? The reason it's funny is it's kind of relatable. Maybe yeah. Also the same people who have reporters coming in doing a little skit in front of their yeah. stand, holding up a line. No, I don't know how people called the soup Nazi episode offensive. With, uh, it's actually not even about Nazis. It's about uh, something relatable. The wild and out boys to go that happens to us each day when we order food. food. And they're concerned with you not saying whiz whiz. I'm not here to change minds. I don't, you know, expect Starbucks to change their menu or Cold Stone to do the whole human large. All I hope to do is educate the mm. beautiful young minds before me because you're future business owners and I want you to, you know, start your business with the intention of making ubiquitous things simple and standard. <coughs> you know, I have to speak English. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> I don't know if that was a meme or they actually said that. Retired TV series Dinosaurs. <coughs> so the oh my god. Charlene, <coughs> the medium is a and the large is an earth. You're going to order Charlene Frappuccino half sweets, even my This whole restaurant is prehistoric themed. You're going to get some dirty looks. There's a chance that the person says, uh, Do you need Charlene? Keep that in mind. You might surprise yourself. <coughs> <coughs> the joke, police. Look at that. I'm pretty brutal sometimes. I'm not only my strength. Last time I showed you guys would it sound like I'm inside of me. Uh. Uh, now I'm gonna show you guys what it sounds like to get punched by I've been Googling myself a little bit recently and I noticed that a lot of people are curious how hard can I just punch? Very popular search result. Just a simple look mm. mic, but the amount of wind that passes by this is how hard Sucks, I can Sucks, I can't use my right. mic because I, I need another connection for Android, which is really stupid. A computer, you, you don't you need it? any connection. Hopefully you guys heard that. I really don't know my own strength. Okay, so for this episode of iDubs Complains, I'm taking issue with what I like to call the joke police. The joke police are a group <laughs> of people, whether they're on the right or the left, who think that they know what a joke is. No, not a joke to me. If it's not a joke to me, guess what? It ain't a joke. As the famous Ben Shapiro said, that jokes don't care about your feelings. These were not jokes. These were statements. It's literally a statement. There is no joke at all. One thing that I tend to hear a lot of is, it's just a statement. I, I don't think we should act like every joke
Subscribe. I really hope Dr. Disrespect gets back at streaming or does it on YouTube or something. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Till next time. Peace out.